welcome back to my kitchen you guys I am fixing dinner I just finished making some pork chops and today we're not doing our pork chops with like gravy so I'm doing a mashed potato side for today now I was asked Miss Donna how do you make your mashed potatoes now I consider my mashed potatoes and creamed potatoes to be different okay when I do a mashed potato I pretty much fix it like I would fix my baked potato if I was at a restaurant and was fixing up my baked potato okay so I keep it very simple and just like I would use salt I would use probably some pepper probably some pepper but I also add sour cream and I add butter to my baked potatoes and oftentimes I will add cheese as well so today since we're not doing gravy with the pork chops I'm gonna have to fix the potatoes like my husband would eat them if he too was ordering a baked potato because he's gonna be expecting some gravy on these potatoes so we're doing the mash and I'm gonna fix them up just like I would if we were fixing baked potatoes at home or if I were um, fixing his baked potato up when we were out at a restaurant now the key to my wonderful mashed potatoes in my opinion is that when I'm boiling my potatoes I make sure that that water is very very, very flavorful okay so in order to do that I'm using my better than bouillon you guys I'm gonna use the sauteed onion I'm going to use some roasted garlic and then I'm also going to use a little bit of roasted chicken just because I want to okay I just want all these flavors in my potatoes because that seasoning is going to get down on the inside of these potatoes I like using a like a frying pan like this you can see I already have my potatoes cut up and I used probably about eight or nine potatoes because they were just small potatoes like this I wash them wash them off I scrub them and we like to leave some of uh, the skin on our potatoes when we eat potatoes we eat all of it okay so there is some skin on here and you can see for the most part they're cut maybe about some of them maybe about half an inch or maybe a little bit more okay so what I'm getting ready to do is season this water okay and I like to use this kind of pan not a non-stick pan because I'm going to use my potato masher and you don't want to use a potato masher you don't want to scar up or scratch up your non-stick pan all right so let's get this potato seasoned up so we can start getting them boiled Right, I'm going to turn my burner on high so we can get this water to boiling. And I'm going to start by adding some of my roasted chicken base. You guys don't be, I'm not going to be stingy with my seasonings at all. Now you do have to be careful. This is better than bouillon. This is roasted garlic. It can be a little salty but I think I've used it enough to kind of know you know what I need to do you know what I mean jelly bean so that's the roasted garlic and then we have our sauteed onion now if you guys didn't want to do all of this if you enjoy a good baked potato once you cook your potatoes then season them like you would in the restaurant you know when you go out and get you order you a baked potato with your meal season it however you like it if you just like butter and salt then that's what you do some people may not care for the sour cream Honey, if I'm not putting any gravy on these potatoes, I'm going to have to show enough fix them. So my dude number one, a.k.a. my husband, will enjoy them. Because I told you guys, he loves gravy. His stuff's drenched in gravy. 
Now once this starts getting a little warm, I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste this water, this broth. What we've done is created a very flavorful broth that we are cooking our potatoes in. Okay. And see, I'm going to taste it to see if I have enough of my bouillons. And I do. So I don't need to add any more because that is seasoned enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover it. Once it starts boiling, then we'll turn it down a little bit. And we're going to let this cook until the potatoes are fork tender, which will take maybe about 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes, and I'm going to drain these potatoes. In the meantime, I have grated some Colby cheese and some sharp cheese. So drain all of this water off. Just gonna mash. Don't like to overcook them because I want them to stay kind of fluffy. Yes, I'm adding this stick of butter, the entire stick. Who doesn't like buttery mashed potatoes? I'm just going to cover it back up just for a couple of minutes. Let that butter melt. All right. We are melted. some of this sour cream and it's however much you like we like a lot of butter sour cream and I already tell I'm gonna need more Taste it. Yummy. Don't need to add any more salt because the better than bouillon gave us enough. So now I'm just going to add some pepper. Gonna add our cheese. Just like the baked potato that we would get in a restaurant, y'all. So now I'll be doing it like this. He won't be asking for gravy. Top it off with some parsley flakes. And since this uh, pot 
the steel pan is still warm. You guys, I thought this was open. Then I'm just going to put the lid on it and it'll melt. It'll melt this cheese, okay? Now, I am going to add some bacon bits, but I'll add that later. Don't want to add a whole lot because our grandbaby's going to eat this, these mashed potatoes too, and I don't want a bacon bit to get hung in his throat. And I just have these little bacon bits from Walmart. But y'all, once I add these bacon bits, honey, he ain't going to be thinking about no gravy. I just added a few bacon bits. Cheese is all melted. And we're ready to eat. So y'all, I guess, um, I guess this too is kind of a loaded mashed potato, but it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fixed potato style because I peeled it. Because honey, he will not just eat a plain. I don't think I've ever seen you just eat plain mashed potatoes. Why? What you mean why? Why don't you just eat plain mashed potatoes? When you can have it loaded with cheese and butter and, and bacon bits and all that kind of stuff too? Yeah. And this is the only way you eat it and it doesn't have to have gravy. Right. I told you. All right, you guys. Well, that's a wrap. Easy peasy. I'm ready to like taste it for everybody. Oh, I've already tasted it, but yeah, you can taste it. You tasted it? Mm-hmm. That's in my taste buds, right? Did you need some bacon bits? Mm hmm I didn't put a whole lot of bacon bits on there because Jackson go eat some. I taste the sour cream. You do? Mm-hmm. Well, good. It's good for you. Sour cream good for you? Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be, ain't it? It's, ain't it? What you mean it's good for you? I think it is. It's like a delicacy. <laughs> you so silly. Look, let's eat. Let's eat. Now I'm trying. I'm trying to give y'all some recipes here and there. I told y'all we simple. Now we we so simple eaters, but I'm trying to do a little. So we eat the same thing. We just fix it. We just fix it different ways. That's called we boring eaters. Well, I don't want to be no exotic eater. I'm not eat junk, snails and, and stuff like that. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I had grow up eating bugs. <laughs> Oh, bless you. You had to eat bugs. Yeah, baby, we was... Don't say that you had to eat no bugs. Quit telling the story. I'm telling mom on you. Donald, we was broker than the Ten Commandments. <laughs> you had to eat no dog on bugs. You better hope your mama don't see this video so much. She's been going to say it live. It was just a shame. We had to eat cards. Oh, I'm going to tell her, but I'm going to show it to her. You are terrible. Feed the children. Them okay, look, we here ready to feed them because he's talking crazy. Look, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And hit the nosy. Hit the nosy. That's the that's, notification bell. That's so when you want to know what's going on. We'll tell you what's going on over here. We will. We, we sleeping. We tired. We hungry. Yeah, they should have saw what they did to me at work today. <laughs> Just spreading the right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next, next time. time. Bye.